You might support efforts in the Congress right now to ban TikTok altogether. And a lot of people do, not just on the right, but also on the left, which is kind of interesting. This is one of those weird moments where there's or appears to be some kind of bipartisan consensus. And that alone might want to make you pause for a second. If everyone in power is saying the same thing, is it really a good idea? In case you need another reminder that the criminals in the legislative branch despise the guts of every American, you need to know about S-686, also known as the Restrict Act. The Restricting the Emergence of Security Threats that Risk Information and Communications Technology Act is the long-form title. It's supposed to be Ban China's TikTok app because China is spying on us through our devices act, but it's not that at all. The government is here once again to tell you that they're here to help us and keep us safe. This kind of help from the government always means a loss of freedoms, loss of privacy, and in many cases, an incalculable loss of life. Some have called this act the Unpatriotic Patriot Act on steroids. But really, with S-686, they've ratcheted that up to growth hormone level. This is a bipartisan supported bill, which means they're united in their hatred toward us. The establishment-owned uniparty system is unleashing a new measure of total control. Now, whatever you may think about TikTok and China spying on us, ask yourself what's worse, China spying on us or the U.S. government spying on us? They're both bad. None of us wants to be spied on by anybody, but they want to spy on you. We just want to go about our business and be left alone, but they don't want to leave you alone. The officials in government can't leave us alone. We have to be under their thumb. And as far as the U.S. government is concerned, they're fine with spying on you through Google and Facebook or Fedbook. But see, our government doesn't like or appreciate competition. They can't have another country cutting in on their game. This really isn't about banning TikTok. This is about the psychos in the U.S. government building a fence around their monopoly on surveillance and control. And we are the sheep they intend to keep corralled. The Restrict Act doesn't even mention TikTok, but it does mention you. And I'll show you that in a minute. The S-686 bill gives the government authority over all forms of communication, domestic or international, and grants powers to, quote, enforce any mitigation measure to address any risk to national security now and in any potential future transaction. Pages 16 and 17 of the 55-page bill states that, quote, the secretary shall prioritize evaluation of wireless local area networks, mobile networks, satellite payloads, satellite operations and control, cable access points, wireline access points, core networking systems, long, short, and backhaul networks, or edge computer platforms. From page 19, the secretary will be able to initiate review of desktop applications, mobile applications, gaming applications, payment applications, web-based applications, information and communications technology products and services, integral to artificial intelligence and machine learning, quantum key distribution, quantum communications, quantum computing, post-quantum cryptography, autonomous systems, advanced robotics, biotechnology, synthetic biology, and computational biology. In other words, they will have their eyes on everything you do, wherever you go, and whatever you buy. They even reserve the right to view you as colluding with a foreign adversary if you use a VPN. And it doesn't matter if you're left or right or neutral. After reviewing your online activity, they can designate you as a national security threat and take you away without charge, without trial, and without due process of law. And some of the charlatans who have co-sponsored it because they're being called out as the tyrants they are, are denying that they've even signed the bill. Did the United States Senate just say we're gonna protect you from China by spying on you? Let's try to get some answers out of the Senator Lindsey Graham, who supports this and is here now. You gotta be kidding me, Senator. Did you read this? 
Yeah, I don't think I support the Restrict Act. <laughs> you don't support this because you were named as one of the supporters, because this is garbage. Lindsey Graham and his office have put it in writing that he supports it. And now that his feet are being held to the fire, like a slimy snake, he's trying to backpedal and worm his way out of it. Well, is this the one with John? There's two bills out there. One allows a review of businesses that, that are connected to China, give the secretary the ability to protect our data. Uh, is that the Restrict Act? <laughs> Let's see, golly, I know it's my job and I know exactly what you're talking about, but I'm going to tell you that I don't know what you're talking about because I really want the government spying on Americans even more than they already do, but I don't want people to know how cruddy I really am. We got S-686 right here, yeah. March 7th, mm -hmm. and we got a bunch of Republicans supporting it. Because this thing is crazy town. You don't want yeah. the government looking into your private phone. No, I don't. If and they, they have can. a hunch you're colluding with the <laughs> Russians, we remember how yeah, that turned that's out. That's right. Yeah, no, well, the Constitution trumps a statute. So let me come back and, uh, you know, give you a better explanation. I know this is fake stream CIA infiltrated Operation Mockingbird, MKUltra Media, but Waters really has Graham on his heels here. He knows he's been caught. He knows Americans don't approve of his Orwellian bill, so he's gonna hit the pause button so he has time to polish up his lies. You made these allegations and I'll come answer better next time. Well, I mean, because on Congress.gov, you're listed as one of the co-sponsors of this thing. Maybe it's like Fetterman when your chief of staff <laughs> does be. all your work for Could you. Be. But <laughs> Senator, you gotta go back and talk to these other senators about this. Yeah. This thing is nuts. And yeah. it's gonna get abused like it always does. So we gotta yeah. clean this up. Can we clean this up? What needs to be cleaned up is Congress. Listen to this garbage from page 10, section three. The secretary in consultation with the relevant executive department and agency heads is authorized to and shall take action to identify, deter, disrupt, prevent, prohibit, investigate, or otherwise mitigate, including by negotiation, entering into, or imposing and enforcing any mitigation measure to address any risk arising from any covered transaction by any person that includes you or with respect to any property that includes your property subject to the jurisdiction of the United States that the secretary determined. Here are the Republican senators who sponsored S-686, the Spy on Everything Americans Do Act. Leave your thoughts about this in the comments section below. Are you surprised? If you like this video, stick around. Maybe you'll like some of my others. Check out the most popular videos section. There's definitely a couple of videos in there you'll wanna see. Leave your thoughts about this for the world and the global thought police in the comments section below. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to this channel, hit the bell notification icon, give it a thumbs up, share it with everybody you know. Don't forget to subscribe to my private email list through my website, highimpactflix.com. If you wanna support the channel further, the links are in the description and you can buy a hard hitting conversation starting design that you can put on any shirt, hoodie, mug, cell phone case, whatever you want. I'll see you in the next video.